guys are having an amazing day and an amazing week. And before I start my video, I really want to thank each one of you for making my birthday so special, you guys. And I made it a point that I'm going to check my Instagram DMs more often. It was so overwhelming the number of messages I received from you people. And uh, I really tried to reply as many as I can, you guys, because there is this buffer limit. But I did screenshot and I replied to as many as I could. Now, you guys, today's video is going to be on what to shop in Sri Lanka. Those of you who follow me on my Instagram, you guys must have checked it on my stories that I was in Colombo for a couple of days and I'm going to show you today what to shop in Sri Lanka. And before I start, you guys, I really want to talk brief a little about Sri Lanka and I didn't go to the other places. I was only in Colombo. I did not visit Dambula or Candy. So I do not know about that region, but as much as I could, I did concentrate uh, on the culture of uh, the Sri Lankan people all across the country. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful country. The people are so humble, so sweet. I really love on how the entire heritage of their traditions and their culture is still um, carried on and it's seen on how beautiful their traditions are the temples and if you follow me on my instagram you guys must have seen my insta post if i did put it up before the video has gone live so the beautiful buddha temples you guys the um every uh, tradition of theirs or every habit of theirs reflects on the religion they follow and people are really peaceful i do not see a lot of people buzzing around with their cell phones so it's a really laid back and beautiful country you can see the dutch uh, impact on the country as well so let me uh, get into the video i'm going to start with the skincare first because i found only a couple of brands that were really good so um they have the entire skincare brands or whatever the local brands are they focus on being organic and they focus on being natural and sri lanka is a blessed country with um natural spices and they're really really rich in crystals and gemstones so first thing you guys i did not buy but if you love sapphires if you love gemstones there is a huge huge array of uh, gemstone jewelry in sri lanka and sri lanka is really famous for sapphires so if you're someone who loves sapphires you can buy your sapphire there they have beautiful sapphires they have beautiful blue topaz i'm going to put up a picture that i took and it's an amazing amazing place to shop for sapphires and other uh, naturally found gemstones as well now apart from that you guys let's start with skin again one brand that you're going to see everywhere is the brand that's Salon. now this is a, a really really amazing brand and i guess these um they were awarded the best spa in asia or, or um, in the world i'm not sure but four times straight but this entire establishment you guys is so beautiful you can um uh, just have a look at their establishment and you get to know on what the brand uh, uh, motto is. They are all into natural and organic stuff. It's really, really beautiful. They are a luxurious Ayurveda brand. So what I got to show you guys is you got to pick up the, these masks. Now they have their um, uh, Pita, Kapha. So they have skincare based on your body type and Ayurveda skincare is... Um, uh, you know it is um, categorized into body types and you can uh, shop the dedicated body type uh, lines in spa salon and you can pick up this assortment of masks you guys so here i have with me nine masks and there are different masks this is neem and the tea tree purifying mineral mask and then they have um, Citrus Nectar Radiance Mask is really good for brightening. Then they have Tamarind Seed Plumping Mask. Now, Tamarind Masks are very diverse. So if you were traveling to Sri Lanka, guys, pick up a lot of Tamarind Masks. And then they have this White Jasmine Mask, which is really moisturizing. Then they have, uh, I guess this is the Moringa Clarifying Mask. And uh, this is an amazing, amazing one. This is the Coconut Sugar Purifying Hot uh, Mask. Now this really gives that uh, warm feeling onto your skin. This is really good for detoxifying and also because it has a 
coconut sugar, it really gets rid of the dead skin cells. Then they have their overnight hydrating white rice mask, which is really good for brightening again. And then they have um, virgin coconut glowing face mask, and then they have skin de-stress sea minerals mask. So you can pick up this assortment, so you get to try a lot of masks in uh, one go and look at the packaging you guys uh it just shows the culture and it really shows uh, uh on how this brand has been keeping the sri lankan uh, heritage alive so um this again you guys the mask island this pretty clear kit is called mask island and salon is renowned for its art culture and exotically colored handcrafted masks and this packaging is basically based on that. Next up you guys, you can pick up natural lipsticks. Now this brand is cruelty free. They do not test on animals. And they have some SPF 10 natural lipsticks as well. So they have a wide range of colors. But my personal favorite would be uh, this particular shade. It's called the uh, Cinnamon Salon Claw. And it's a really beautiful nude lipstick. It, they're really, really creamy because they're formulated uh, with natural butters. And uh, let me just show it here. The other colors that I have here with me. Uh, this is the shade Pinger, Pink Grapefruit. Now these are formulated with organic uh, fruit butters and organic oil. So these are really, really buttery. And also this shade, you guys. If, if you guys love red, this is the shade Natural Red Chili. It's a really hot red. It's a blue tinted red. And apart from that, this is like a must, must buy because this is like the most amazing product that you can pick up for your lips. Now this is an entire lip perfecter kit. Uh, this contains um, a, a, a cocoa lip balm. It contains a lip scrub and this contains a lip sleeping mask. So this is really, really good for your routine that you can buff your uh, skin with a scrub and apply the balm during the day and sleeping mask at night. So the lip balm, this porcelain lip balm is formulated with coffee and cocoa and the lip scrub is formulated with salon coffee and cocoa and same thing as this entire lip perfecter kit is with uh, coffee and cocoa. A deep conditioning and restorative blend of exotic essential oils and fruit butters that melt on your lips for soft natural shine. Virgin coconut, olive and soya help instantly hydrate, nourish and protect lips from cold, dry weather, mango butter and almond crystal and uh, soothe drying lips and it smoothens the lips. So this kit you guys, you can pick it up, this is priced for about 4,950 Sri Lankan rupees so um, one 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 dollar is equal to 180 Sri Lankan rupees when I was traveling. So you guys can just calculate on how much. But this is a really good investment. Next up, guys, is a brand that focuses on Fuller's Earth. Now this brand is called Iris Garden, and this is their Fuller's Earth mask. And um, this entire brand is really really famous in Sri Lanka because of their uh, Fuller's Earth products. Fuller's so Earth is really, really famous in India, you guys must uh, be knowing that, that people in India used to bathe with Fuller's Earth and it's really, really good for skin. And then you guys, they also have this Fuller's Earth face wash. Now, Fuller's Earth is really, really good for skin. It really gets rid of extra oil from your skin. It gets rid of the impurities inside your skin. It really is good to get rid of the gunk. It really leaves your skin hydrated as well. So if you're traveling to Sri Lanka, you guys don't forget to check this brand, it's called Iris Garden. Now you do not leave Sri Lanka without shopping for tea. Sri Lanka is really, really world renowned for their salon tea. And I was with the best brand that Sri Lanka has, it's called Dilma, you guys. I was with their team. If you follow me on my Instagram, you guys know if I did post uh, the video about it. and. I met their amazing team and I got to know so much about the salon tea on this trip and I want to show you by starting with my most favorite flavor you guys and it's the Moroccan tea, the Moroccan mint. Now this is such an amazing, amazing flavor. Now I'm someone who's caffeine sensitive and I do not drink certain forms of tea but they have so many variants for everyone you guys and this is my personal favorite 
favorite flavor. It's called Moroccan Mint Tea and I had the iced tea in this. It was so amazing. I could literally have four mugs of it. It was super yum. And another flavor that's really, really popular with them is Rose with French Vanilla. And it's a really, really delicate flavor with vanilla and rose. It really blends into a beautiful, beautiful flavor. And this, you guys, it is natural infusion of blueberry and cough. The infusion of the sweetness of blueberry and the spice of cough gives such a beautiful, intense flavor out. I mean, you've got to try it. It's a really beautiful infusion. And this is the most famous and their most um, expensive um, tea, you guys. It's called the Ceylon Silver Tips White Tea. Now, this is their most expensive tea. So if you were proud, you guys do pick this up because um, it is the best from the best. So this is a sublime tea that is rare and handmade from a unique variety of camellia. This revered white tea is grown on our Kabula estate where only the fresh buds of tea uh, are hand-picked at the dawn, protected in silken pouches and then sun-dried under filtered sunlight. So this is a really, really special tea, the Salon White Tips White Tea, the Salon Silver Tips White Tea and you gotta try this you guys because this is the best from the best. If you are traveling and want to try all of the options in one, then this is their Gourmet Tea Series and you can pick this up. This is a selection of their designer teas and you can pick this up and you get to try so many flavors in one go, which is a perfect option for someone who's traveling as well. But do not leave Sri Lanka without getting their Gourmet Teas because they are to die for. And they also have their famous, what they're really known for is their rich black tea the salon black tea is what is so so called across the world and this is the run wate this is a really really fine black tea for someone who enjoys the black tea in the style of fine champagne a, deli a delicate infusion lightly mellow high grown at 6000 feet so now these are flavors that are um and how the plantation is placed and how the tea is produced and then this is the uda wate this is for someone who wants to keep it um, uh, full body, grounded and refreshing tea. Then this is Yakawate. This is a heavy and broad so this is a strong version of the tea. And then for someone who wants to keep it in between, we have the Medawate. So Dilma has it all, the whole place. You've got to visit this place. It's called Dilma Tea Lounge. It is a tea heaven you can just find all the flavors there and also you guys you can pick up tea bags if you're not someone who brews uh, your tea you do not brew your tea you can pick up tea bags they have a lot of flavors in it as well there's a ginger and honey tea and then they have um this is a black tea with strawberry infusion and then they have a uh, rose hip and high hibiscus tea there are other brands as well on of Zesta, this is a brand called Zesta, this is a cinnamon tea, but as I say, or, or I will always show you the best, and Dilma is the best, so you gotta try it, it's like a must, the must shop product when you visit Sri Lanka. So one thing you gotta buy after you buy your salon tea in Sri Lanka, you guys, is a cinnamon and other spices and condiments. Sri Lankan food is so damn good, you guys, especially their hoppers, now hoppers are served with certain sambals on the side and I'm going to show you on what you got to pick up but Sri Lankan food you got to pack some local flavor back with you when you're traveling to Sri Lanka because for sure you're going to miss it especially the hoppers I'm not a huge fan of the string hopper but the other hopper that they serve is so damn good it is served with a spicy sambal and it's called kata sambal and this you guys is so damn good it's, it, it has fish it has prawns it has chili and it is an amazing amazing condiment on the side with the hopper it tastes so good and another thing uh is this red sambal and this is again really really good this is made with it's called fried sea sambal and this is really really good it's made with onion and it is so damn yum especially with the egg hopper a hopper and one thing you gotta try there is their kotu it's their chicken kotu so spicy it's made with um their parotta and it is so so yum you gotta try that 
Now, another thing that Sri Lanka is really famous for are their cashew nuts. So you have this brand called the Royal Cashew. And one thing you guys, just remember the brand that I'm telling you because uh, your taxi driver and other people try to show you other brands. And you gotta pick up authentic stuff. It's a huge, huge market. And they take you to a lot of places where you don't get real gemstones. They take you to a lot of places which do not serve good quality spices. So stick to your local supermarket. If you find any supermarket, you can buy in your snacks and spices from there because then it's packed and it is uh, from a good brand rather than going to a place that you do not know about. And for cashew nuts, the brand is called Royal Cashews. The Sri Lankan cashews have a nutty flavor to it. They're really sweet and this brand has a lot of flavors. This is a prawn flavor. Then you have barbecue flavor. You have a lot of flavors in this place. This is uh, cheese flavored cashew. Then you have uh, sour cream and onion flavored cashews. And these are something that you see everywhere. Now, I at first I thought these were potato chips, but these are cassava chips. So this is something you can try. This is a local snack of theirs. And coming to spices, you guys. First thing that Sri Lanka is really, really famous for is their cinnamon. Now, a lot of your taxi drivers, including anyone who meet anyone whom you meet across the road, will try to tell you that I'll take you to a spice store, but stay away. And this brand is called Kiehl's and you can pick them from any of the supermarket. So they have fresh cinnamon sticks. Now these are really, really beautiful in color. Now I did um, try the Kashmir cinnamon sticks as well. They're really, really famous. But it's very evident that they have different uh, textures. And then their chili. Their chili, Sri Lankan chili is really different. It's not as spicy and hot. You gotta try the chili as well. Then this is one thing you can bring back roasted curry powder if you want to bring back the Sri Lankan gravy flavor back to your home. You can get this. And they have some really good lemongrass. It's really different in taste. So uh, different regions have different flavors and spices you guys. So you gotta pick up the local spices and Sri Lanka is really really famous for the spices. So Sri Lanka is a beautiful beautiful country you guys and you can pick up a lot of organic skincare, organic spices. Now different countries have different uh, ways of cultivating their spices and their plantations hence the flavors differ so you can pick up the spices. Sri Lanka has some amazing spices and of course Sapphire. Sri Lanka is known as an isle of Sapphire. Um, beautiful, beautiful suppliers to shop from. You can pick up some natural gemstones as well. Then you have the most amazing salon tea, and also you can get your organic skincare. And it's a beautiful, beautiful country. You get to meet beautiful people, as I already said. Do let me know in the comments below on what is your favorite product shop in Sri Lanka if you've been there. And how this video helps you when you're going to Sri Lanka and you know on what to shop in Sri Lanka and I'll see you guys in my next video until then keep sharing keep liking keep subscribing to the